Another very important control in VBA is the multi-page control. So what is multi-page control? That is the subject of our lesson. Let's uh, see how does uh, multi-page control works. So I have here created uh, another form. I call it a uh, multi-page. You can see it's kind of fancy, very colorful, but you can design however you like it. I just wanted to show you that you can design your own professional looking or fancy looking form. It depends on your preference. So this is a, a form with the this is the multi-page control here. So multi-page means you can add a page in this single control, like a, a tab. So let some, for example, like this one here. Okay. So let's just focus on this uh, first page. So the objective is the, of this program is to show you. I call this one a drawing audit report. So basically, to show you the numbers of blocks or doors or the bath sink, the tubs, the toilet seats, just to kind of give the users the, the idea of, of how many uh, fixtures do we have in this drawing, in this plan. So let's try running this one so you have an uh, idea how it works. By the way, I just added this uh, frame control with the image control here. Is the image control you can put your logo oops and this is just a text box a label control I mean with the uh, bold and the bigger text I just made up this company name nothing special there so and we have here three buttons to generate the audit report uh, to clear the values of this text box and to cancel the the form or unload the form so let's just run this program so you have a basic understanding of what this program do. Uh, for the page two, we will work on this later on. So generate audit report. There you go. So we have two French doors. We have four bifold doors. One, two, three, and four. The French door, we have two one two and the bath sink we have one two and, uh, and three and the uh, bath tab and the seat okay so uh, clear values means just to clear all these values here so cancel is to unload the form okay so let's cancel that and let's see the code behind this uh, form First, uh, let's uh, see what are these controls. These are just the labels, so I did not bother to change their name. These are the controls that we are concerned about because we will be providing data into these controls. So accordingly, they are named properly. This is the toilet seat. This is the bathtub. This is the sink. This is the bifold door, and this is the French door. So we can easily reference to that. And now let's uh, see what's the code behind this. All right. So uh, the the French door gets populated by calling the function get French doors. Okay. I have put here a comment for each of these functions, so it's easier for us to see what's happening in each of these lines. So this function here, which is this one here, you can just right click and click on definition. It should redirect you to the definition. For example, this is somewhere below the or at the bottom. It will just, uh, the cursor will just bring you there. So this is the function for the get French door. Just to uh, explain to you what does the function means because you might notice we have here a sub and we have here a function. The difference between the two is that the function returns a value which in this case returns an integer value while the sub does not return a value. Remember that. The function returns a value 
and the sub does not return a value. Okay? So this function here basically just gathers all the French doors and return the, the count of those French doors. So let's check this code. So we declare a selection set. We call it SS French. And we declare the filter type as integer and the filter data as variant. So all we need is the block name, which is the DXF group code for the block is number two and specify the, the block name, which in this case, the door French. If we list out this, uh, uh, this block, it's called door French. Okay. So that is the block name, door French. Let's go back to our code. So in this line, we just clear the selection set so that if we keep running the code multiple times, we don't get an error. And then we set here the selection set for the French door. So basically, now we are adding the selection set into the, the drawing database. And this is where we select uh, the the selected criteria here which is the block with the block name of door french so this is the syntax for that okay now that we have this selection set all we have to do is just uh, the way by the way the way you return the values in the function is just copy over the same function name here and equal it to the return value that you want to return which in this case the count of the french door so let me just uh, put a breakpoint here and run the code. So, oops, let's terminate this one first. All right. Okay, so we have here breakpoint. The count of the French door is two. So th that's just what we're going to return. Press F8, and we get this uh, French door, which is two. The text value is two. So that goes same with the rest of the function. So let's go over with this bifold door by pressing F8. We are going to step through that code. This is the function here. So same thing. We just specify the block name. I mean the, the block uh, category and the block name, which is the door bifold. While the other one is door French, this is door bifold. So same thing. Just go through it. Clear the selection set. Let's just delete if there is an existing one and then create a new one, create a new selection set, then select based on this filter criteria. Give me all the blocks with the name of door bifold. All right, and then the count is four and then return it. That's it. Same with the sync. Just get the block name of sync and they have all. Uh, common patterns. All we are changing here is just the name of the selection set and and here the criteria for the block. That's it. And return the number of sync and same with the toilet seat. Okay now uh, clear values. Just clear the values. So what is the function behind these clear values? We just put the empty string into each of these uh, text box. Just, just empty it out by putting in an empty string. So that's about for, for this uh, first part of the multi-page control. I will stop the video now because it's getting longer. But in the next video, we're going to work on this page two here. All right.